peasants in Bannerlord. They are the modern day equivalent to TikTokers. They are annoying, add nothing to society, and constantly pester you for your attention. So I thought, why not take a small and insignificant problem, multiply it by a thousand, and slowly blot out the sun with never-ending volleys of rocks. If I must endure the pain of Luda's mildly infuriating fashion sense, then so will the rest of the world. We'll storm the gates of hell itself, resembling something from your typical below-par Hollywood zombie movies. Okay, so the rules for this challenge are pretty simple. I can only recruit looters. And in the spirit of fitting in, I can only use looters gear. So yes, I too will be pelting rocks at the enemy with all of my might. The aim for this challenge is to put this goddamn looter horde to the test and see how far we can take it. For this, we'll have three objectives. One, to raid a village. Two, to siege a castle. And three, to beat a lord in battle. But the ultimate goal for this challenge is to create a peasant uprising capable of overthrowing the current power and killing none other than King Durthurd. I'm bad for peasant brat. It's a lofty goal, but hey, we've got rocks and plenty of them. Now, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you really like it around here, then why not become a channel member? There's currently only one tier, but I'll be building this out over the next couple of months with the aim of offering some really cool and unique benefits for joining. So if you want to support me and you have a few extra dollars, then consider becoming a member or not. You can definitely keep watching for free too. Oh, and join the Discord. The link is in the description. All right, all right, enough of all that. Peasant army destroying the world. Let's roll. Hello and welcome back to another beautiful Bannerlord video. Today we are going to be witnessing the journey of Sir Lutalot, this wonderful, wonderful hunk of a man. The ultimate alpha male, as you can tell by his insanely awesome drip. Now if you haven't guessed already, Sir Lutalot is the king of the peasants. So although everything else is peasant-like, a king needs a crown. So we gave him a crown. I think he looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. He's got two little bags of stone there on his little waist. As always, we are playing on Bannerlord difficulty. So onwards and upwards, what is our plan of attack? The peasant only challenge requires quite a little bit of thought, but then also quite a bunch of doing the exact same thing over and over. We just need to get some men. And then after we get some men, we can start looking at raiding villages. That'll be the first objective that we can tick off. But for now, we just got to focus on actually getting some men to, oh my God, there's six looters there. Yeah, we're going to be incredibly susceptible to dying all the time. So we got to be very careful. 21 dinars for grain. That is outright disgraceful. I'm going to buy some grapes just on pure principle. All right, we're going to wait for these six looters. And usually I would fight the six looters, but you know, we can't. I don't want to start off on a defeat. All right, so we need to find a very small group of looters. I'm thinking like a group of four or so. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we found four looters. That's pretty much the lowest number we're going to find. So stop right there. This is a robbery. Oh my god, look at this guy. We're gonna have to get real used to uh, staring at hoods and a whole bunch of cloth. These are uh, potentially our executioners or our first recruits. That's a very big difference there, but we'll see. All right. Come on, Sir Lutalot. I believe in you. Oh, look at that sexy man. My tactic here is gonna be to throw rocks at their freaking heads. Oh my god, I threw it over his head. All right, run, run. Hopefully, hopefully I'm faster than them. Oh my God. Okay, this is the tactic. This is how we're playing. Oh my God, they're so close to me. I feel like I'm gonna die very easily. So I have to watch out. Look at this top tier Bannerlord gameplay right here. Come on, Sir Lunalot, we believe in you. Oh my, how did I miss that? They're right, they're just, like my whole entire screen was just looters then. All right, come on. Oh my god. I need to get faster. This will become a whole lot easier if I'm faster. I think that guy's catching me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! All right, that was good. That was good. The next one. Oh my god. That went nowhere near him. Get a bit of distance. Oh my god. How did they not hit me? I honestly didn't expect this to be this bad. This is a struggle. Holy sh All right, come on, come on, come on. 
All right, there we go. We took one looter out. Beautiful. Oh, yes, we took another one out. All right, beautiful. Do a little bit more damage. All right, get this out. Maybe the Sarth is the way to go. Ah! Oh, my God, beautiful. Yes! Aha! Sir Lutalot. Look at him. All oh, beautiful in the sun. Oh, that's a man if I've ever seen one. All right, we only killed two of them. So that means we get our first two prisoners, baby. All right, first battle. That went pretty well, I think. And we got some fine wrapped shoes from the looters too. We can actually wear those. Ooh, hit points or movement speed? Oh, I think you have to get freaking hit points. Just for later game, we're going to have to get that. All right, we're going to go to Marunath. We can hire one guy. Okay, beautiful. Now we have our first little group of men. Look at that. There's three of us. Three beautiful men. We need to move out and we need to find another group that we can pick apart. So I'm going to be very conservative with the way I play at the start because it's going to be very easy for us to die. Siege Medic is going to be incredibly important for us to get. We need to get that perk because it basically means we're going to have 50% less casualties, which is a uh, pretty big deal because peasants die very easily. The other one that we want is the Doctor's Oath, which means my medical skill applies to the enemy and we'll be able to get more prisoners with each battle. Battle, so we won't kill them all the time which is good because that's how we're going to get more looters all right we've come into contact with a group of five looters that's probably the best we're going to find for a while so let's go and fight these guys all right let's kill these guys oh no oh shit oh shit oh shit i'm dead i'm so dead ah oh that just went terribly all right we're back to square one this is going to be a very long challenge man all right, so we've built ourselves back up to seven strong in our looter army, and we have another six on the horizon over here. Let's go and destroy these looters. Yes, they're finally running from us. Let's go and chase them to the ends of the earth, men. All right, we're going to catch them. All right, men, it's time to kill these scum. Actually, don't kill them. Just slightly wound them with your rocks, and then they'll soon be your brothers. All right, kill them from behind. Ha! Oh, oh. Ha! All right, there we go. I think we killed way too many. Oh, sh we killed five of them. We only got one prisoner from that. Oh my goodness. That was 10 looters there. We'll probably take 10 looters. Oh, we got to buy some food though. All right, it's nine verse eight. This is the biggest battle of our lives, man. Our looter army is growing. Get your stones out, man. Start hooving them. Oh yes, yes, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. All right, come on. Oh, kill him. Oh yes, beautiful. Good job, man. Did we kill every one of them? Nearly. There's still only one guy that remained. We are running into a real problem here, aren't we? A torn padded garments. Oh my God. How can I not wear that? I look exactly like freaking Shrek. I need to wear that. I need to wear that. And it's gonna give me way more armor. I'm gonna wear that. We're actually worse off after that fight. We only have eight men. I haven't played Bannerlord like this yet. Offering a very unique challenge. Let's just say that. All right, men, I want you to get up there and you can fire a will as well. Throw your rocks. It is what it is. Oh no, we could lose here. Why can't I f strike? Oh my God. What is with my character right now? He's terrible. We're actually getting quite a bit of profit off these looters. Look at this. Oh my God. All right, so we've just won a battle against four troops and they actually had some empire peasants. And as this is a peasant only challenge, we can actually get the peasants. I just realized I was thinking just looters, but we do say peasants. We can actually go ahead and get these guys too. We've got some better peasants with some scythes. That's going to make us a whole lot stronger. And look at that. Look at the numbers. We're growing. So the peasant king now has a force of almost 20 men. And I never even really stopped to think about the fact that we can hire freaking peasants, man. Because I only thought about the uh, the recruits and I'm like, well, can't get recruits, can you? But you can get peasants. The only actual way for us to get any men is to bully these little groups right here. And I don't actually even have to fight the battles. Usually we have enough men that we don't have any casualties or we might have one or two. Here, no one died. Even if we have four wounded, it doesn't even matter. We just can't let our men die and we got two men from that. So that's going to be the strategy that I use to build this group up. Ooh. 
Ooh, fine arm wraps. Yes, please. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Shrek. You're looking good, baby. Uh, yeah, that's a strategy I'm going to use to get about roughly 30 men. And then we can start thinking about raiding a village. Yeah, I'm going to go do that some more. You know, one troop tree I didn't even consider was roguery. I mean, look at these freaking perks. I'm just looking at it now. Negative 50% food consumption for bandit units in your party. And a 30% recruitment rate for bandit prisoners in your party. There's also a 30% chance for the bandits, villages, and caravans to surrender to us. And then that one's the major perk that I need. Surrendering bandit parties always offer to join you. That is the troop tree I need to focus on now. Our mighty band of peasants chased down other peasant parties like we were playing some type of medieval X-rated Pokemon game. We had to catch them all. After a painstaking three hours of my life that I will never get back, we had grown from a couple of measly shitballs into a lot of measly measly shitballs. All right, Sir Ludalot has grown his peasant horde to 50 men, and we've trapped a group of 20 looters and backed them into a corner. So now we fight them. We're gonna start to see what we look like. All right, men. Look at this beautiful peasant army. Look at what you've created. The destruction is gonna be real. You know what? My men are throwing rocks, and I don't know why. All right, men, everyone. Whoa, Charge! Oh sh! Oh sh! Kill them! Oh yes! Look at this brilliant peasant horde! Oh, there's so many deaths on the battlefield right now. We're not even gonna get to them. Oh, beautiful men! Look at these men cheer, cheer in the sunlight, bask in the glory of greatness. All right, we lost more. We shouldn't have fought the battle, but we need to see how we were going. Whoa! Oh crap! Look at this! Look at this. That's a massive upgrade. Oh, sh although we don't look like Shrek anymore, unfortunately. Oh, fine leather shoes as well. That's a big upgrade. Now, do we use that? Are we allowed to? We can only use gear that we pick up from peasants. So yes, we can use that. We've now got a sword. Beautiful. All right, so we've been grinding our levels up. We've got ourselves 50 men with 23 looter prisoners. So we can get our total force up to about 70 men. As soon as we do that, we're going to go ahead and raid some village, probably belonging to the Valanians. But first, we're going to hire everyone we can. Oh, crap. 62 men. 62 pure peasants in one army. Eight troops deserted. That's not good. Why did they desert? It's morale, isn't it? I don't know why we have such few. Recent events are 39. All right, I can't hire too many at once, otherwise my morale will take a massive hit. All right, I believe I found my target. It is Navyank's village. It's only got 15 defenders. It's usually a pretty war-torn place, this part of the map. Pretty contentious, so this will be an easier escape. I just got to be careful, because now it's basically this whole part of the map, and a large part of Batania will be cut off to me. All right, let's go and raid this goddamn village. Tick something off the list. All right, we're at war with Valandia. I want a flawless performance from you today, man. All right, you hear me? Oh my god, look at how many looters we've managed to uh, assemble. They're all following the crown. Crown fit for a king. Oh yeah, I got a nice sword on me too. A falcon? A fal- fal- falcon? Whatever it's called. I think this is like the best weapon we're going to be able to get, honestly. All right. They're coming straight for me too. All right, come on. I just got to survive a bit longer. Kill him. Good, man, good. All right, this went very well. We didn't even have that many casualties. Look at that. And got a little bit of loot as well. We're at war with Philandia now too. And I have lost my honest trait and my merciful trait. Well, the king of the peasants is neither of those. So that doesn't matter. All right. And with that, we have successfully raided our very first village. And we've declared war on the freaking Valandian scum. We're well on our way to killing Durthurt. We've amassed 57. We have another 12 in waiting. We just got to wait for our morale to go up. Otherwise, we'll lose a whole bunch of men. All right, we're going to trade. Let's see how much money I get from this. All right, we're going to get about 1,600. Actually, we have hardwood to sell too. We're going to get nearly 1,700 from that. Not a bad little haul at all. Oh, we can sell this guy too. Ransom all the prisoners. There we go. We actually hit 1,700 from that. 
Oh my god, no. I sold all my men. I just did that on instinct. All right, well, I just lost 12 freaking looters. It's all good. We still have 60 men. Why don't we just go and uh, raid this next village right next to them? 12 defenders. It's asking to be raided. All right, men. Sir Lootalot demands that we kill these scum. Charge at them. All right, they're in my sights. Let's chuck some rocks. All right, get that sword out. Ha! Feel the wrath of our peasant force. Oh, yes. Look at this. Destruction, men. Destruction. Another successful battle for the peasant scum. Imagine this army just biffing rocks at you. You'd be so pissed off if you lost to these guys. Oh, my God. I got shot by an arrow. Jesus. Right to the heart. We only lost a single man, too. All right. We've done it. We have successfully raided our second village now. All right. Let's go to Carbanseth. Sell all this crap. See how much money we got from it. We actually leveled up one-handed. Ooh. All right. We sell this crap. We got about two grand from that, not counting the amount that we actually got in coin. It's all looking up for us at the moment. We're on 60 men. We've raided two villages. All right, what about this? They only have 16 defenders in Calais. All right, let's go, men. Throw your rocks, men. Call me the peasant reaper. Come on, can I hit any with a rock? It's not my own man. I don't think so. They're not going to last. My peasant army is too strong. All right, beautiful. Only one of us died. Look at that. Now, the question is, can we raid another village or are we going to get taken out? Is someone going to interrupt us? Nope, doesn't look like there's anyone on this part of the map that gives a shit. So that is now our third successful village raided. Oh, and I've leveled up. Roguery. Ooh, no morale loss from converting bandit prisoners or 20% bandit troop wages. Look, the troop wages, it doesn't matter. They're all peasants anyway. But the no morale loss is a massive thing for us. All right, there's another 2K for us. We are well on our way to 20K. I think the next step is to get ourselves up to around 100 men. And that way we can safely look to a lord to kill. But in order to do that, we need to find a whole bunch more peasants. So let the grind begin. All right, we have found the mother the load of all looter hangout spots and it's down in the desert for some reason they really like pot climates and camels give me your finest horses look how many more looters spawn back here than like before we'd be running around for ages before we saw any looters uh, we're not gonna get anything out of this are we oh we did look at that wow i'll be honest i didn't actually think it was going to be a problem i thought in usual campaigns there's usually way too many freaking looters and they're just a constant freaking nuisance but when i'm actually looking for them i can't even find them sweet another four recruits we have almost 30 prisoners so we're actually gonna have enough to get 100 100 peasants we kept hunting down those small peasant groups like redneck repo hunters after killing all of their friends and stealing all their gear to sell at the local town we invited them into our party to sleep with us whilst we were completely defenseless bulletproof plan right we are back. We have finally gathered 100 different peasants to join our cause. And look at that. He's like a freaking grim reaper of death. But still, 100 men of any kind is nothing to bat an eye at. The plan is right now to go and attack the Vlandians wherever we can. We need to defeat a lord. That's in the list of objectives. We also need to siege a castle. I definitely don't think we have enough men to siege a freaking castle. But you know what? We could probably try and attack a caravan as well, actually. Oh, crap. I think I've got him cornered. Yeah! We're reinforced as well. Hand over your goods or die. All right, we're gonna we're gonna join this freaking battle. I knew it was gonna be white, man. Oh, for f**k's sake! Send the troops. Oh god. All right, we had to do that. Whatever. I can't wear any of these as well. It's unfortunate, but we got a whole bunch of points. So I got is not a Valandian town right now, so we can actually go and sell stuff in it. Hopefully they don't siege it while we're here though. All right, sell, sell, sell. There we go. We're gonna get another 2k from that. We're almost on 30k. Who said being a peasant wasn't lucrative? Oh, sh we want to stay away from that. That's an actual army. We are really right in the heart of enemy territory territory right now oh my god this king dearth it oh my god this king dearth it oh my god that's not good we are not ready for dearth it oh my god dearth it is on our ass man oh we're so stuffed right now all right run through the forest no one's gonna be fast enough to catch us in the forest oh my god we actually made it out of that holy
holy crap that was nerve-wracking to say the least all right so we have grinded our way up to 151 peasants now we've actually leveled up a whole bunch as well but in medicine we're going to get the doctor's oath perk which is going to increase the amount of potential prisoners that we can get oh crap huge battle right here huge battle that's Reganvad's army probably gonna lose that will he lose that he's looking good he's looking good oh my god they won that's massive these guys don't know what to do that was like three armies they just beat oh my god yes that'd be a good army it's just philandium recruits oh my god we're gonna get them this is potentially our first victory against the lord this is the next objective that we have to tick off the list all right Gerald. Gerald, whatever your name is it's time to die buddy all right it's a night battle honestly i'm just gonna go like one long line all right man look at us 150 freaking peasants running storming down the line to murder a bunch of landian scum and they have no archers throw your rocks man eight damage look at that beautiful get your sickles out kill these bastards oh shit don't let them hit me don't let them hit me look they lock onto me before anyone i can't tell who's who i honestly can't tell who's who <laughs> come on man you got this oh, that's a lot of death oh my god holy sh we actually won oh my god i honestly could not tell who was who we only lost 27 men there ah our first victory against a lord well Gerald, you are now my prisoner oh and there's a whole lot more prisoners that we can take we're just selling these guys don't worry so with that victory against that lord we have now ticked off two of the three objectives for this challenge we have raided a village and we have defeated a lord in battle now the only remaining challenge is to siege a castle and then after that the ultimate goal is to kill Durther. Now it's going to be very hard because we actually have to catch him but it's looking up it's all looking up okay so i've been grinding for a while and something terrible has happened something i did not foresee i'm just going to show you king Durther has died of natural causes as you can imagine, it's going to be pretty hard to kill Durthert because he's already six feet under. We've got ourselves up to 163 peasants strong, and we have scouted out a very weak Navyank's castle. It's only got 75 defenders. We should be able to take that. Let's go and take this freaking castle. Hopefully, we can do it. Let's besiege. Oh my god, I hope no one comes to attack us. All right, so we have 163 men versus their 78. I'm actually going to get a whole bunch of reserves. And we're going to get ourselves up to a lot more men. We're going in with 250 men versus their 78. If we can't win with 250 peasants, we're never going to win. Let's see how this goes. All right, men, you know the drill. Oh my god, look how many freaking Shreks we've got. This is just absolutely beautiful. Oh yes, create an absolute blob of filth and disgust. Disgusting green garments. Beautiful. Oh, sh what a hit. Oh, this guy's trying to hit me now. Oh, how did he f hit me? Oh, my God. I got a strike from up here, man. Oh, my God. That just missed out, man, by a bees. Man, oh, my God. That was so close. That would have taken out so many of us. All right, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at how many of us that just killed. I think this is the beginning of the end, man. I'm one arrow shot away from death. Oh, that kill feed is terrible. Oh, there's a couple of things of green in there, but look at that. We're almost even now. We need to overwhelm them with numbers, man. Come on. Yes. Come on. For the looters, man. Oh, sh I'm going to die. Oh, sh Oh my god, no. It's all over. Our men are fleeing. I can't even fight this. Well, we tried our best, guys. This was a tough challenge, man. This was insanely tough. I've seen some other people do it. They did a whole lot better than me. I gave it a shot, but looters and peasants, they are the worst. To recap, we weren't able to successfully siege a castle, and we weren't able to kill Durthert, but Durthert did die, and we completed two of the three objectives we had. So we raided a village, and we beat several lords in battle. I'm not going back to try and get another 250 peasants. That took way too long. That battle was do or die. We had 250 peasants against 70 men. I don't even want to think about what would have happened if we came up against the king's 150 men. We would have got absolutely demolished if you like this video and you want to see more or you want to see a part two if there's enough support maybe i'll bring it back this was a freaking grind though i need a lot of freaking comments telling me to bring this back that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next one